Well, we are building a home. Those words from Governor David Ige in his first State of the State address. The governor spoke for just over a half hour today, saying he wants to streamline government, build a solid foundation, and yes, he's committed to rail. But as KITV 4's Laurie Amata shows us, when it came to some topics, it's what we didn't hear that could set the stage this session. We have a mountain of challenges to climb. On the floor of the House chamber, Governor David Ige made it clear fiscal responsibility will be a top priority, saying the state's already spending more than it takes in. We are building a home for our kupuna, ourselves, and our children. Those children in need of a good education. Governor Ige has been highly critical of the Department of Education and its board, demanding more transparency and cooperation. He wants the DOE to shift what's called its weighted student formula, giving principals more control over how and where money is spent. It will give our children greater educational opportunities. But he didn't say a word about more money for pre-K, a top priority for former Governor Neil Abercrombie. Nor did he address the ailing University of Hawaii Cancer Center or the university's limping athletics department, already more than three million in the red. Instead, offering this advice. I challenge the university leaders to focus on ex execution, accountability, and delivery in all that they do. A bit of a question mark over Hawaii's bleeding public hospital system. Earlier this month, Hawaii Health Systems Corp. and Hawaii Pacific Health announced a plan to create a public-private partnership to pull HHSC's Maui region out of major debt. Public-private partnerships offer great potential, but only if they are shaped in the right way. No mention of other hot topics, GMOs, medical marijuana, or his take on the future of Kaka'ako. But twice, Governor Ige mentioned collaboration. His decades working with a Capitol crew, as one lawmaker put it, could be the ace up his sleeve. And so I thank you, each and every one of you, for the sacrifices that you will make during this session and throughout the year. Laura Yamada, KITV4 News. The governor says he is committed to fostering what he calls an innovation economy. He wants to give the Hawaii Growth Initiative $10 million this year. That's to help local entrepreneurs and startups.